Hi. Thank you very yeah. much for making the time to, to join uh, our LTHE chat uh, about the LTHE chat. Uh, you were our last uh, organizing team uh, after Easter and until the end of June. And I would first of all like to thank you both for your thank commitment, you. hard work and creative input uh, through these months. Um, first of all, I think it would be nice to introduce you. So if you introduce yourselves, perhaps, who you are, what you do, uh, and then we'll move into a, a few questions that I have uh, to, to structure our conversations. And I'm very happy for, for any ideas or suggestions you would like to share. Is that OK? Should we start with Becky? Yeah, uh, so hi, I'm Becky. Um, I've just not long finished my PhD in linguistics and now I want to be an academic developer and I'm working on the link between um, educator enthusiasm. Santanu? Um, yes, I'm Santanu Vasant. I'm an educational technologist at City University um, and at the moment I'm looking at learning spaces and how they can be um, shaped and developed for um, enhancing the academic um, practice. Okay, thank you both. Uh, it's fascinating because you're both from very uh, diff two different areas and you didn't know each other, isn't it? You were put together uh, sort of almost randomly <laughs> because you expressed an interest uh, to be part of the organizing team. So how did you find the experience of being part and well, consisting the organizing team? Santanu? Um, a very new experience. I've used Twitter for um, about eight years, but I hadn't actually done uh, a Twitter chat or at least um, one. So, um, and it was good to see what it was like um, behind the scenes. Um, initially, it was quite a, a lot to kind of take in, but after a few weeks, we kind of got into the the whole automation of tweets and and um, um, and things. So it was, um, it was a really, it was a different um, learning experience and something that I haven't done before. Okay, thank you. How about you, Becky? I would echo a lot of that as well. So it was a really um, kind of enriching experience and I was able to develop myself. Again, I've been using Twitter for a long time, but didn't really know any of the tips and the tricks and how to do the automation and use TweetDeck. But it was very easy to do. You can Google in two minutes how to find something out. So like, I've really developed my own skills and it didn't take a lot of time. That's what surprised me. This wasn't a massive commitment in terms of time. Mm. Okay, well, thank you for, for sharing these uh, thoughts. I can see from what you say that uh, you have developed um, some skills in a new area, perhaps. Mm -hmm. uh, beyond that, was the chat useful in any other ways, Santanu? Um, I think it highlighted um, some of the um, you know, areas that um, we don't often discuss in academic development. Um, and some of the contributors were um, people that we don't often hear from at, uh, at conferences. You know, they were, uh, you know, retired um, academic developers or heads of um, department or academics. So it was good to hear, um, you know, their experience as well and through their questions that they were asking. Thank you. Becky? Thank you. Sorry, could you just repeat the question again? I forgot what you asked, sorry. You already mentioned before, Becky, that you developed some skills of how to do the tweet automations, etc. My question was if the chat was useful in any other way beyond the skills development. Yeah, definitely. I think it's something that I've learned about like in my training and research, but um, I've really seen like this idea of the personal learning network um, because now I know a lot more people, I have a lot more followers, but it's not just a number, it's like a quality connection. So I know a lot more people and people know me and we can share and find lots of useful information. And that's been nice to see that really develop through these kind of activities that we've done. Yeah, definitely. Okay, great. So it was the two of you running the, the chat in the background. Uh, how, how did that work for both of you? Would you like to have a chat between uh, the two of you? to explain <laughs> how you were working on a week-by-week -week basis. Oh, well, this is probably the most we've ever physically spoken to each other, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually, Becky, yeah. Um, sweet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we were, um, um, I think initially I did the first week in the automation 
um, and then you did the next month, mm -hmm. and then I kind of came in afterwards. So, um, yeah. We were, we were just, I, I wouldn't say like we were clinical about it, but we were pretty just matter of fact, like, I'm busy this week, could you please do this? Yeah, no problem, I'll do this week, you do next week. And we just negotiated it, didn't we? And mm. kind of divided it, yeah. And, it, and that wasn't a problem, that worked fine for me, I would say. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so same with myself, you know, it was kind of, um, there were weeks where I had prior commitments yeah, and so, I, um, so same with Becky, so um, we just, um, you know, we kind of worked around around that and we we, we did get people a lot earlier than maybe we had done in the past when we had those kind of, um, we planned it, uh, you know, in two or three weeks in advance as well, so some people. Mm, this is true. And yeah, we, we had like the Twitter direct messages as a back channel as well. So we always could reach each other if uh, we needed to. Um, yeah. And with the automation that really did speed things up and take the pressure off because everything was planned beforehand. And then we could have free interactions spontaneously on the night as well. So yeah, it was easy, I think. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's really insightful. I'm just wondering if, um, feel that the team was perhaps too small or two is enough or something like that because our previous teams were three or four people even i think the, the um, last one before you were even five <laughs> i think too many cooks can spoil the broth i think two was fine three you might get away with you don't maybe want millions of people but two was okay for me yeah that's yeah, right. I mean, two it works. I guess it depends on the, the you know the, um, um, the 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 two people that you have. It, um, you know, it, uh, it, maybe one more person would would have helped, um, kind of be that kind of third moderator in the background. Um, but because we've done so much of our automation, including our replies to the questions as well, so um, that was that was interesting. I've tried a lot. Of, um, if this and that recipes and various other tweaks and things and literally you know like a, a running myself as a bot on that you know literally yeah, on the pilot. Yeah. so um that worked well for me i mean I, I won't be using it for anything else but um it worked well on for this particular thing i mean you you could even almost say that twitter was the third person like the tech was the third person in a way mm. so yeah interesting to to experience that as well okay um your time has come to an end you are you have finished your your service at the chat for now at least um, what would you recommend to other people who are considering uh joining a future ldh chat organizing team what would you say to them be free on a Wednesday evening <laughs> would, would be good <laughs> try and keep Wednesdays free um, what else yeah don't 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 worry about it because it's not that hard to do it doesn't take that long to learn the things that you don't know I hadn't we had never run a tweet chat before and just by googling how to do it I knew how to do it within half an hour so it's not scary. Anybody can do it if you just experiment, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Santano? Um, I think, you know, in the words of uh, Professor Phil Race, you know, don't be afraid to take a risk, you know, on um, on doing this. So, um, you know, try out things, um, you know, and use the tweet chat, you know, tool there. It's there for you for, for, for a reason, the scheduling stuff. So, um, and and just enjoy it and enjoy the interactions that you have with the people yeah. via email and getting the blurbs as well, as opposed to, you know, just the, the, on, the, on the evening as well. So, um, yeah, and just have a go. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Is there anything else you would like to share? Anything that I should have asked or you expected me to ask <laughs> and I haven't? No, no, it's just a great experience. It doesn't take up a lot of time and it's only been positive from my side. So give it a try, I would say. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Santanu. Do you yeah, want to? Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Brilliant. Thank you very much, both of you. Um, we'll put that uh, video online so that colleagues can see it and then uh, think about uh, joining a, a future team. Thank you very much for all your commitment and uh, input. You're welcome. See you soon. Yeah, thanks. Thanks.
Bye. 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 Bye.